Hello, my lovelies. Well, hello, my love. Hello, my lovelies. 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 And today, I am going to be talking to you about, well, nothing really in particular, but you know, men in general, and women, and the idols of beauty, and basically myself. Because you know what? This is my this is my video channel, and I can talk about myself if I want. Um, so you may have noticed through watching my videos that I am not the leanest of women, right? And I haven't had a boyfriend in over three years. Uh, and so I like think I want to spend some time analyzing maybe why I don't know maybe why I haven't had a boyfriend. And I like a lot of the time I think it's to do with my weight. Um, I'm not thin. I'm fairly hefty, actually. And I'm okay with that personally, but a lot of people aren't. My mother's always telling me I'm fat. And I know that when I'm, you know, with a group of friends, I'm super self-conscious about the fact that they're very thin and very athletic, beautiful girls. And I'm chunky, and I may be athletic, but I'm athletic in a, you know, I have large shoulders and like to take people out sort of way. like female foot or football or hockey or rugby sort of body because I have a thick muscular waist and broad muscular shoulders and I mean I can hold my own but I'm not a thin willowy lovely beauty and I don't have a problem with that I mean I'd like to be a little prettier but my entire thing is like I don't have a problem with my weight my biggest problem is the shape of my face I have a very square face I'd prefer to have a pointed chin and have a little more feminine face, uh, but that's off the topic. So I'm okay with my weight because of a certain book I read when I was 14 that is uh, by Jennifer Cruzy called Bet Me. This is my copy I bought when I was 14. You can see it has a lot of wear, a lot of tear. I lend it out to my friends every time I meet a new person. I lend it out to them, uh, encourage them to read it. It's an amazing book. It changed my life. Uh, all three of my older sisters have struggled with their weight. Um, and by that I mean they've all struggled with, two of the oldest two have struggled with eating disorders, and my sister, who's closest to me in age, struggles with forgetting to eat. Um, she's a very different physiology from the rest of us. Uh, we're all built strongly, and she has a fairly weak frame. She also has a lot of health problems um, that are congenital, I guess. Uh, but, you know, she's, she's an outlier. Um, Two, my two older sisters have struggled with eating disorders. I never have. And um, I, I'm positive that's because of Jennifer Cruz's Bet Me. Um, and often I feel like in the media of today, there are so many thin women, and there are very few normal or hefty actresses who get leads. And so, you, like, you don't see them. And it kind of, it kind of upsets me just a little bit. And, uh, so, I mean, it's not like I have a huge problem with it. I would just prefer to see heftier women in leading roles. And you see that in black movies, like in, well, I hate to say black movies, but in movies that are targeted at the African-American genre and have a mainly African-American or, you know, African or Jamaican or some sort of black cast, the women are are thick and it's really funny because I'll be watching because I enjoy black comedies and so I'll be watching uh, something like uh, Barbershop which I know was a terrible movie but I enjoyed it uh, <laughs> and someone like a man who's very attractive and very lean and muscular and handsome will come up behind a woman and say oh you are getting so thick and it won't be me, it won't be um, meant like, oh, you're getting fat, you need to lose some weight. It'll be, oh my god, you are so much hotter now that you have a little more weight on you. And I want that to be mainstream. Like, I'm not saying that we should promote obesity or we should promote being overweight, but I'm just saying that we shouldn't promote being so thin that you can't have children. Because you realize that's why Brad Pitt left Jennifer Aniston, was because she had so little body fat that she could not even menstruate. And that's not something that got publicized a lot, but it's something that was happening at that point, is that she was so thin she could not be a normal woman. She could not have the bodily functions of a normal adult female. And so we need to stop saying that that's the way to be. We need to stop saying that 
you should be so thin you can't even have children. Because what's the point of having a uterus if you can't bear children? Um, I got way off topic. So I'm thinking the reason I can't get a boyfriend is because I'm fat. Because when I was 15, which is when I last had a boyfriend, oh my god, I'm 19 and the last time I had a boyfriend I was 15. Dear Lord. Uh, I was, I was in dance classes, I was doing jazz dance at least three times a week. Um, and I was very lean and muscular and I looked really great. Uh, I think that I'm actually more attractive now. Like, I think I'm wildly more attractive now. Um, I have better hair. I'm more graceful. I'm more coordinated. I'm definitely more intelligent. And I haven't had a boyfriend. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe they just wanted the little ditzy, thin, Bridget. And I'm like, that can't be, that can't be right. That cannot be right. Because I am so much hotter now than I ever was then. And I mean, I look at pictures of myself and I'm like, wow, I look vastly different. I look like, I look like a new person. And I can't understand why no one wants to date me. I'm a nice girl. I'm a really nice girl. And yeah, this has just been a kind of weird, like I'm bored, it's the weekend. I wanted to talk about the best book in the universe. I recommend you all read it. I'm not like being paid to plug Jennifer Cruzy. I just fucking love her. Um, Woman changed my life. This book changed my life. I've read all of her other work and this is still my favorite. Um, I guess that's all I have to talk to about you uh, about today. If you feel like you have a similar story or if you want to just, you know, maybe give me another suggestion as to why I'm undateable, um, leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. So this is Brigida signing out.